Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be New York City LAN, aka StarCon matches. We have this is the second round of the upper bracket. I'm not sure if I'm going to label it. Maybe I should just say they're all upper bracket from here on out. Upper right and corner, we got Striker starting as the blue Zerg. Bottom left and corner, we have RK Plus starting as the yellow Terran. Uh, RK Plus, a solid player, but Striker, one of the best Zerg in North America, arguably the best Zerg in North America right now. You've got Striker, Kavapu's actually been playing really well lately. Um, and Hawk. I guess Striker and Hawk, kind of the two, are usually, these days, the two where you're like, okay, one of those guys is definitely the best. Um, Jayun was in those arguments when he was playing Zerg, but he, again, he switched over to Pro Protoss. Actually, in spoken, speaking with him, he was saying it's mostly because of the lag issues, which I understand. So I guess that's more... I kind of find it interesting how, yeah, North American internet infrastructure holds us back. By the way, I, I, I out there in Chatland. Good to see you. Striker, I want to give a special highlight out to because he is one of the captains of the North American teams that are running for the North American Pro League. Jayun is going to be the captain on the other side, and it's kind of funny because I feel like it's the two Zerg, and then I have to hesitate and say no because Jayun isn't officially Zerg anymore. Anyway, Striker, he's a very, very solid Zerg player. His. His Mutalist Micro is fantastic. He's a very aggressive player. And really the thing that I think differenti differentiates, blah, 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 differentiates his play across all of the matchups is he has a very strong instinct when he can win the game and he try and he pulls the trigger immediately when he knows he has those advantages. Where I feel like Hawk will play a lot more defensively and a lot more macro orientedly. It's not that Striker does not. He's, Striker's got fantastic build orders uh, the same as Hawk. It's just Striker in the space of things, just has a very strong game sense He's where he feels, okay, I've got a lead right now and I'm going to encapsulate and finish off. One weakness of his play does tend to be he likes, I think, going for those aggressive encapsulations in all matchups. And so occasionally he'll end up at a position where lurkers aren't burrowed. That sometimes costs him uh, in matches, in particular this matchup. Sometimes he can be a little bit sloppy with lurker placement. Um, but overall, still just an absolutely brutally strong player. It looks like he's opening up for a two-hatch Mutalisk opener. Might fold it back to 2.5. Drone getting a shot. Oh, actually, that SCV pinning that drone momentarily against its own egg, causing it a few half seconds before it's able to get to gas. We do have a one racks into expansion opener. Looks like on the opposite side, upon seeing the hatchery, the opposite side, the Marine just high five in that SCV before he plops it down. We'll see if there's some additional clutter that's going to be placed down on that forward base. Overlord is sidling in position. It looks like that drone also making its way back, maybe because of a lack of additional marine pressure. Not sure if that drone made... I should have paid more attention. I don't know if that drone made it all the way down to the natural or not. But right now, that SCV going to go ahead and pull out. Saw the gas timing. I think saw mostly wanted to want it to see. Also saw the morph to lair. Actually going to sneak back in, confirm lair timing. Two Zerglings out. Just going to be the pair, but does in fact see timing of lair before exploding gloriously. And it is going to be a two racks opener for Arcade Plus, grabbing that gas. As far as a follow up, we do have Zergling Speed alongside from Striker. Some Marines now gathering on the low ground. Two Zerglings making the way out. And the Overlord, I think, will. This is kind of the curious thing is, is there is nothing out on the front. Oftentimes you'll see one of these barracks creating some clutter. And I wonder if this is going to give a go ahead for Striker to play a little bit more aggressively in the mid game. We'll see if he produces some additional Zerglings. Because what you'll see some players do these days is they go for the in-base uh, 2.5 hatchery, uh, so they call it, these days. We'll see if Striker opts for that. It looks like he's actually moving out a drone to go for more the uh, exterior 3-base play. Um, but right now, seeing a wide-open natural expansion with nothing to blockade the Zerglings away from either the SCV line or the Marines, I could definitely see an aggressive follow-up from Striker at some point. Right now, though... Filling in that drone count. And RK Plus actually a little bit behind. He's right now strikers about even on workers, which is not where you want to be in uh, TVZ. But is getting that academy up to go ahead and get that stim plus one weapons. Zergling just kind of hanging out with their speed. Keep an eye on that marine force. Usually, uh, my brain's working right in the my commentator of like sense of a lot of this is, is okay this is a little bit late as far as that academy timing i'm kind of curious uh, about it because we don't so now the medics are being built and this is coming a little bit later than usual striker holding off on the initial sunken colony 
because he sees these Marines so far back. It looks like the Overlord just going to check the saturation, also wanting to see whether there's that second gas down there. But sees a slew of Marines, but no medics as of yet. And having those medics uh, in position gaining energy is actually pretty important. Getting them out ASAP. In the meantime, Engineering Bay about halfway finished. We do have the Spire already complete. And Mutalis can flight. And usually this is a... Usually as the Mutalists are being constructed, this is when I believe you want the turrets constructing. So Engineering Bay is getting a third barracks dropping. This is a good amount of Marines, but not a huge amount. And the Zergling, again, able to pop in. Going to get some harassment there at the natural. Overlords going to see that army making its way across. Striker, again, still not opting for any sort of Sutton Colony here at the Natural Expansion. The aggressive Marines forward for Arcade Plus, this might be because of that late turret placement. So he is going to buy himself some time here, but losing a lot. Look at that beautiful micro from Striker. Just swarming around and easily picking off these Marines. And they're get Wow, they're separated from the Medics. And Danger Town, a big mistake there from Archive Plus. So now he's going to end up losing... So it did take out a Mutalisk right there, but Striker going to regroup. Might find these medics in open field. Is hunting down Marines right this second. And RK Plus, yeah, having a lot of trouble with his build order. And now, upon losing that attack force, dropping a massive amount of turrets. So he's got two turrets. So three turrets in the natural expansion. Just four Marines providing the support. Two Marines look like they were able to wander up and get a drone kill at the natural. Maybe two. Sorry, I missed that. It looks like they, there was a pretty good drone pull there from Striker to mitigate the losses. The medics are going to be able to get out. That was a, a big lucky maneuver. Or did they? The Mutalisks, fairly close. They're, he's hunting for them. Okay, the Marines are at the natural. We got one medic right there. At, at the very least, they got a lot of energy to them. But plus one weapons, upgrading more Mutalisks coming alongside. Striker working on that southern turret. Able to wipe that out pretty rapidly and now working on some SCVs having some trouble microing getting the insta shots and loses an additional Mutalisk and Arcade just pressing that attack force in response rather than engaging the Mutalisk wholesale once again which with Striker's Mutalisk micro is really at this is not a lot of Marines this is seven Marines going up against nearly a full control group of Mutalisks that's that are about to hit plus one weapons and we don't have range or sorry, we don't have plus one weapons on these uh, Marines as of yet. So this is just maybe donating additional armies to Striker overall. Very dangerous. Also, fourth barracks just being added on. So Arcade wanting to get some more Marines. Also trying to get that second gas up online. Striker diving into that pocket. Two additional turrets attempting to be built in that lower corner. Neither of them constructing. Now Arcade engaging across that back line. But losing more Marines to Striker's beautiful Mutalist Micro. He's got that third gas up. He's dropping some additional tech. He's got that Queen's Nest at the eight minute mark. We still don't see a factory. So you usually want a factory around the seven minute mark. And the factory is just starting at the eight minute mark behind the Queen's Nest and the Hydralis Den, which is really good news for Striker overall. Plus some weapons now finished. More Mutalists being built. Still no sunk colonies on the front. Looks like it's just gonna be Mutalists here for Striker. And yeah, Arcade really behind in supply right this second, behind in workers is not looking good. A lot of turrets alongside to at least defend that barracks line, so it isn't going to get run over right there at the very least. More turrets, but still the natural hasn't been saturated in between because Striker's done such a fantastic job whittling away at units, and it looks like he's got a second control group of Mutalus constructing. He might be able... Oops, got some... Has made some mistakes. He's got some battle drones out in the front, so deduct two from that count. Also eating a huge slew of fire right there, but now moving out with two control groups of Mutalisk, which might be sufficient to just completely, should be sufficient to completely wipe out this Medic Marine army and take all the Medics alongside. Let's see if Striker dedicates them. <coughs> right now they're holding back. He's got some Lurkers morphing and queen, uh, the Hive. He really doesn't need to push this. So it looks like he's just going to rely on Close Space Micro, now drawing in that second group of Mutalisk. And this is enough to end the game right here. Honestly, turrets... This is not a sufficient turret count to deal with this many Mutalisk, even with plus one weapons. It looks like a Vulture was produced in there to maybe try to get something out in the field to create some distraction, but now that barrack line has been breached and the Marines can't even get up to support, so Striker 
easily going to take this initial game here. RK Plus still holding on, lifting off. He, yeah, he's just getting these two star ports. He's a ways off. Yeah, there's GG. Oof, brutal game one for Arcade. Well played by Striker. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.